Immediate criticism, including from rapper 50 Cent, went on to social media to vent his frustration, writing, maybe Trump is the answer. Welcome to SOVIC Reactions and Reviews, where we dive deep into the world of entertainment and politics to bring you insightful reactions and comprehensive reviews. From the latest political news and issues, and movie trailers to trending TV shows, we're here to explore, analyze, and share our thoughts with you. Join us as we embark on a journey through the realms of human nature and beyond. A Facebook post claims that New York City's illegal crisis will worsen due to $53 million in free prepaid debit cards. However, it is important to note that migrants will actually receive prepaid debit cards as part of the New York pilot program. These cards will only be usable for purchasing food and baby supplies at specific retailers. They are intended to replace the non-perishable food boxes currently provided to migrants. Each card will be loaded with an average of $12.52 per person per day for 28 days, which is about $87.88 per week. This approach is similar to how SNAP and WIC, federally funded health and nutrition programs, distribute benefits through prepaid cards. The pilot program, funded with $53 million, is expected to save $600,000 per month and $7.2 million annually. Additionally, it will give migrants the freedom to choose the food and baby supplies they need. Mayor Eric Adams expressed hope that using these cards at local retailers will also stimulate the local economy. The rapper 50 Cent wants to talk to Mayor Eric Adams for him to break down why this pilot program was put in place. He appeared to be on point and on top of things. Now I want to talk to Governor Kathy Hochul about the laws preventing him from doing things to make the situation better in New York and where the proposed $2.4 billion she's planning on spending on migrants is coming from, not my taxes. Tonight, New York City's mayor pushing back on criticism of a new $50 million program to hand out prepaid debit cards to migrant families. We need to dispel the rumor that we gave American Express cards to everyone. Adams insisting the prepaid cards would curb the cost of inefficient food distribution that has led to expensive food waste, potentially saving taxpayers roughly $7 million a year. Adding the cards can only be used for food and baby supplies, with a limit of up to $1,000 per month for a family of four. If this is successful, we're going to expand it even more. The pilot program drawing immediate criticism, including from rapper 50 Cent, who went on to social media to vent his frustration, writing, maybe Trump is the answer. I told um, 50 Cent to hit me up. I would love to explain it uh, to him. And over the weekend, Texas Governor Greg Abbott joining the choir of criticism while on Fox News, calling the program insanity. It may be the most reprehensible thing that I've seen take place over the past 48 hours. It's the latest effort by New York City officials to deal with the ongoing migrant surge. More than 173,000 migrants and asylum seekers have arrived in New York City since the spring of 2022. Both the New York Democratic governor and the mayor have been pleading for federal support, insisting the city is at a breaking point. This has hurt us and where the White House needs to make adjustments. The move as the search continues for migrants who were caught on camera attacking two New York City police officers last month. Seven suspects were arrested and six of those were released without bond. Police say they believe at least six more people were involved. Get them all and send them back. You don't, you don't touch our police officers. Governor Kathy Hochul now publicly challenging Manhattan DA Alvin Bragg, saying she believes none of the migrants should have been released without bond. An assault on a police officer means that she should be sitting in jail. Bragg defending his decision while condemning the attack, saying he didn't request bail out of caution, adding he needed to send the right people to jail. The video is the start of the process, not the end. We will continue to work to identify all those responsible and will hold them accountable for their specific roles. Tonight, the Big Apple looking to D.C. for answers as a $118 billion bipartisan bill moves through Congress to impose tougher asylum and border laws. Well, earlier today, we were hearing from Governor Hochul. She was calling on New York's congressional delegation to support that bipartisan border deal. She's saying it's, quote, the most significant immigration reform in decades. Thank you for joining us on SOVIC Reactions and Reviews. If you enjoyed our content, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and turn on notifications so you never miss an update. Remember, the conversation doesn't end here. Share your thoughts in the comments below, and let's continue exploring the wonders of entertainment and politics together. Until next time, stay tuned, stay curious, and keep the popcorn popping and your ears peeled.